Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.1, number 85. So let's take a look at this one. It says, hey, graph this, this function, put it on this domain, and then see if you can figure out the range for it. So let me head over to my y equals. I've got the x squared in there. I'm going to clear this out. Now there's a couple ways to get cube roots. If you hit your math button here, you'll see option four says cube root, right? We have this square root button over the x squared term, but in your math menu, you have a cube root um, because those are pretty common. So Texas Instruments program them in. If you had something like a fourth root, you would hit option five here. So you see it says the x root. So you could do option five if you had anything beyond a square root or a cube root. But we have a cube root, so let me go ahead and hit option four. And I want to do the cube root of x. Now, since this is a math problem, I'm just going to reset my window. I'm going to go to zoom six. And there's what your basic cube root looks like, it's, or a cube root function. It's one of those toolkit functions, so we should know its general shape. And what domain did they give us? They gave us negative 0.001 to positive 0.001. So let me go back to my window and change this to negative 0.001 and then positive 0.001. And let me hit graph. I don't want to hit zoom six. If I hit zoom six, it's going to reset the x min and max back to negative 10 to 10. So when I hit graph, I'm really not seeing a whole lot. Like I can barely see anything. So what I want to do is figure out what are the corresponding y values when x is negative 0.001 and when x is positive 0.001. To do that, I'm going to go into my calculation menu. And I'm going to do second and trace to get there. Let me calculate this value, so option one. So let's plug in negative 0.001, okay, and let's see what y value we get back out. It looks like we're getting negative 0.1. So let me go back to my, win well, let's try positive 0.001. Positive but let's keep this in mind, it was negative 0.1. So let me go back here, and let's try another one. Let's try positive 0.001, and what are we getting? 0.1. All right, so for my window, let me scroll down here and change this out. Let me make this negative 0.1 and positive 0.1 because those were the numbers we were getting. And let me hit graph, and now I can actually see what's going on. And so that would be my window that I needed for my range. I need at least my y min to be negative 0.1 and my y max to be positive 0.1. You could go above and beyond that if you wanted, but you saw when we went too far, it was, it was almost impossible to see the function. So I would say, go with these, right? If you want to extend it a bit, and then it gets kind of dicey for how much you want to extend it by, like if I go negative 0.2 to 0.2, I can probably still see the whole thing. Oops, let me scooch that back up. I could still see it all, but again, the, the wider I go in the y direction, the harder it is for me to see that. If I reset this, and I'll do this all the way back to where we started, right? We had negative 10 to 10. Remember, I just couldn't see anything. It was too much. I couldn't see what was going on here. So at, at minimum, or really I think it's just safe to say, set your range from negative 0.1 to 0.1, and you're going to get a really nice screenshot of this cube root function. Imagine that you zoom way in on that origin of that cube root, cube root function. All right, thanks so much everyone, bye.